Hi everybody, welcome to vMix Fun Time Question Time with Cartoon Ta Tim, I mean. So thanks for joining us. We're going to go through in these videos with some tutorial ideas that we've had from people that have emailed us uh, in the last week or maybe on social media or something like that. So that's what we're going to go through with this live video right now. So I actually had a question. This is from Kevin Powell. He says, Hi Cartoon Tim. Just wanted to say that I'm a big fan of the show and wish you the utmost success moving forward. I'm just wondering, why are there four numbers underneath each input? So Kevin, thanks for your question. And now we're going to quickly explain what those numbers are that appear underneath each input in vMix. So we're going to just head down the bottom here and I'm going to jump on the old laptop and we're going to go through what that actually does. So as you can see here, I've got a blank interface in vMix. And as Kevin's pointed out, there's uh, one, two, three, and four underneath each of the inputs that you have in vMix. So we're gonna go through and explain what that is. Now, first of all, we actually need some inputs. So I'm going to just drag and drop these video files in here. Now, you may or may not know that you can just drag and drop video files, um, images, music, that type of thing directly into vMix. Or you can use the add input menu here. So I'm just going to add another title and click OK. So now we have some inputs in our vMix production. Now the 1, 2, 3 and 4 underneath each input refers to the overlay channels in vMix. So in vMix you're able to create areas on your, your output window here that overlay content. So overlay one of these inputs in different areas of your output. So that's really handy for things like titles, or video files that you want to show picture in picture. So by default, I'm just going to quickly show you what an overlay channel looks like. So that's the title that's been displayed just briefly, and then it uh, will disappear from the output. So that's a full screen overlay of that title. So how do we set those overlays up? Well, down in the bottom right hand corner, there's a section called overlay. Now this is where you can find all of your overlay settings in vMix. Now up the top here you'll see number one, which was the number one button that we had down here. That will um, be a full screen overlay. The effect, the transition effect will be a fade. Uh, and then the effect duration will take half a second. So that fade will take half a second. And then the duration of the overlay will be three seconds. So that means that when I overlay that particular input, it's going to stay there for three seconds and then it's going to fade away. Now we can make changes to this duration here by changing it to maybe two seconds. Or if we wanted it to stay on there permanently and we manually turn it off, we can set that to zero, like so. So if I click OK now, you'll see that it will fade up and it's not going to disappear because we set it to the duration of zero. And zero means that it's going to stay on there permanently until we turn it off. So that's how you use the full screen overlay. So what if I wanted to do a picture in picture? So all I need to do is go to, I could use the same number if I wanted to, or I could go to overlay channel number two. Now the type I can change to picture in picture. Now all of the same effects um, and information are the same for the picture in picture. So the effect type for the transition, the effect uh, duration for the transition, um, the how long it will stay on the screen. So we can change this to say, three seconds if we wanted to. Uh, and the main difference here is that underneath it, you can control where the uh, picture in picture goes. So as you can see here, it says to adjust the position, just drag the red box using your mouse. So I can move that around. If I hold down my shift button and move it in and move it out, I can change the size of that picture in picture overlay. Then I can put that in the top right hand corner if I wanted to. And as you can see here, you can fine tune and change all of the settings over on the left hand side as well. Now underneath that we can create a border. So if we wanted to create a small border for it, we can add that and the border will appear around whatever input we choose to put there. So if we click OK, now we set it for three seconds. So if I use channel two, it will overlay that video for three seconds and then it will fade away. And as you can see, we had the border ready to go. Now you can do that for any of the inputs. So anytime you want to put a an input into a particular overlay channel, just press the corresponding number underneath it, like so. 
So that's how we can set up different uh, overlays in vMix. Uh, you can also move something into a preview. So let's just, for example, I'll change one of these overlays to a permanent um, duration. So I can move this into the preview by right clicking the number and then I can actually transition the full video with the overlay into the output. So if I just bring this across here, it will bring the overlay and the actual input with it. So that's something to keep in mind. Now if I wanted to turn it off, I just turn off the number two button. Now you don't have to press these tiny little buttons down here, it can get a little bit confusing and hard to see them, especially when I'm not wearing my glasses. Uh, but you can actually uh, set up shortcuts, so a button on your keyboard or a button on your MIDI controller or on an X keys to control those um, overlay channels. Or um, you can also set them up with triggers as well. So if I wanted to overlay a video file or a title after three seconds, I can use the triggers to set that up as well. So thanks for joining us on this uh, video. I'm just going to quickly uh, jump out here again. Now, if you had a question that you'd like, to, like us to cover on one of these tutorials, you can send us through an email or you can leave us a comment on this particular um, video. So if you want to send through your very own email, um, you can send it through to cartoontim at vmix.com and we'll take a look at them and then we might be able to make a live tutorial video for you. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video.